So, y'all, I was in Target the other day, and I just have to tell you guys what happened, y'all. Got time for a little story? Okay. So, I was coming down the aisle, and um, when I looked off real, real far, I could see this girl who had the most beautiful, long, luxuriously black, wavy, just lovely lovely hair and I was just like oh damn her hair is beautiful she was kind of far away from me so I didn't never really get to see her up close and uh, you know how it is when you in the store I was trying to kind of catch up with her but I was also shopping and stuff so you know I would go down an aisle lose track of her she would turn down another aisle then I might see her a few minutes later coming up another way but never really got close enough to really get a good look at her hair it was beautiful hair not too full not too thin just beautiful now as luck would have it when i got finished shopping and everything and i got up to the front to the register baby girl was up there too and so i was like good i get to get a good look so she was in the register that was like you know i was at this register and she was one register over from me so we weren't in the same so i was getting a look at it um but you know just on the dl you know how we do when we peep out folks hair and i could tell that she knew that she looked good and i was just like okay girl go on girl because ain't nothing wrong with um you know feeling good i know how it feels when i feel like my hair is right so yeah she was looking good she knew she looked good um and uh, but i could tell from her face that she kind of had like a kind of she was kind of standoffish like her attitude even with her dealing with the cashier I could tell that she wasn't kind of one of them ones that was gonna be you know one to talk to about her hair well <laughs> here comes curious girl and curious girl is she ain't she is oblivious to a uh, stank attitude with beautiful hair okay she she don't really know all this that's going on so she walks up behind her and she has the same feeling that I have obviously except she don't really know that this girl got a real nasty look on her face so she walks up to the girl and she's like your hair is so pretty what kind of hair is that now ladies those of us that have weaves and wigs and all I know that there is a certain kind of way that you approach somebody and kind of ease into the hair talk I mean a lot of times women don't it don't bother me it really doesn't if somebody asks me what kind of hair I have I tell them um, and it doesn't bother me but there are a lot of women who cannot stand to be asked especially in public what kind of hair that they have in stank attitude beautiful hair is clearly one of these type of women when the girl asked her the question honey stank attitude must have looked at her and she must have rolled her eyes so so damn hard that i thought the motherfuckers was gonna pop out her head and keep on going down the goddamn aisle and she just ignored the girl well the girl i guess she didn't see that and she must have thought that the girl didn't hear or something because she asked her again i guess stank attitude couldn't take it no more because honey she whipped her head around and was like what what makes you think that it's a weave don't you think think it's rude for you to come up to me and ask me about my hair and ask me what kind of hair it is why it gotta be a weed you don't think that black people can grow their hair what if it wasn't a weed is it because i'm black you don't think that black people have long hair black people have long hair well, i understand why you coming up to me ask me that y'all i was just like oh i feel so sorry for stupid curious girl because she ain't know no damn better she ain't meant no harm she was sweet enough i mean the girl just really wanted to know what kind of hair it was but you know stank attitude had to make the whole scene into this whole embarrassing thing for everybody that was standing around and you know curious girl she just kind of shrunk away didn't really say nothing it kind of just stood behind the girl in line um you know and just waited for her turn to come up next stank attitude must have snatched her damn change from the cashier and walked the hell on out like she was gonna fuck up anybody else who even had you even had an idea to ask her about her goddamn hair now ladies i wanted to make this video because we need to get over our insecurities about our hair i understand where the insecurities come from because i remember from being a very small child it's always been a lot of emphasis on our hair how long or short it is how thick or thin it is how nappy or straight it is you know it's always been something about our hair and no matter what texture our hair is we become very very protective of it um to the point where we can be ridiculous and we feel like we've got to be wearing a fucking coat of armor um when it comes to anything that has to do with our hair don't look at it too long don't ask too many fucking questions don't touch it just don't don't do nothing with my hair okay just 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 don't and then you guys some weave and wig wearers are even worse because besides us having to deal with the insecurities of our own hair and how we might feel or not feel about our own hair society projects that we feel negatively about our own hair we now have to deal with 
explaining why we have a bunch of fake hair in our head and uh, you know people go through all kind of explanations some people say that it's a protective style some people say that you know this is to grow their hair out listen I don't really know about y'all out there but the, the reason why I have a fucking weave is because I don't feel like dealing with my hair I can curl the shit every day I can make it do what I want it to do and I have no problems okay it ain't got nothing to do with protective because my hair underneath is damaged it's got all kind of issues I'll worry about it when I take the fucking weave back out it's thicker than my hair and I, my hair even if I grow the shit out you know I can probably grow my hair out as long as I want to I always had long hair but it's not gonna be at the same thickness and who the fuck wants long hair to come all the way down here and the shit is thin as fuck it has nothing to do with whether or not I hate my own natural hair um the whether or not I I you know have all these problems and that I want to be like a white woman and I want to do this and that it has nothing to do with that you guys I have no problem with people with um natural hair I love to see people with afros, big afros, small afros, locks, uh, twists, um, curls, like natural hair is cool if that's what you want to do. Weaves is cool if that's what you want to do. Wigs are cool if that's what you want to do. Braids are cool if that's what you want to do. All of it is really just fine with me. It's just like being, my mom was a seamstress, you guys, and my mom wanted to always teach me how to um, sew and make my own clothes. And you know, I was tell my mom like mom for real why would I go get a buttons and zippers and the interfacing and a pattern and material and thread and needle and all this when I could just go buy a fucking shirt same thing why am I gonna go through all these real frustrating and very involved treatments for my hair when I could just put some damn hair in spend four hours at the damn uh, Amanda's house get her to put my shit in and be done with it everybody is all sensitive about the word nappy hair and bad hair and all that listen my jada she's got some of the longest softest coiliest tangliest bunch of bullshit ever on earth traditionally people would say that she has good hair but i can tell you um that i would much rather deal with somebody who just has coarse hair than that fucking curly tangly coily mess that my daughter has bad is really just in what it does it has nothing to do with what it looks like um, or, 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 or it's how it acts. You guys, I wanted to stop stank attitude with beautiful hair and answer every rhetorical question that she threw out at that poor little curious girl. I think it's a weed because the shit is all the way down to your goddamn waist. I know there are some black women that grow their hair out naturally all the way to their waist and are able to keep the thickness and everything, but some is the fucking word here. Everybody is not able to do that, and most of us don't, okay? It's just what it is, ladies, okay? And because the shit is extra, extra shiny, and usually we as black people do not grow our hair extra extra baby doll shiny I can look at somebody's hair and I can tell it's a weave I can look up at the top of your hair uh, stank attitude and see the little horseshoe that's left out and yes it's blended very well and to the to the average person they wouldn't be able to see where your horseshoe is but I can see it I know that it's a weave okay you're not really fooling me you're not fooling nobody you're not fooling the men the men the jig is up okay everybody knows that that's a weave so come on up off of that goddamn attitude yes maybe the girl could have approached you a little differently but you need to stop acting like you didn't search hours and hours um looking for the perfect brazilian wavy texture that you got up in your damn head i don't really care that people know that i have a weave i care that everybody knows that i have a good weave I don't want nobody saying that Roxanne shit is fucked up. The, lastly, you guys, once you accept that you have a weave or extensions or braids or a wig or lace front or whatever it is that you do, you will understand that it's just it's just an accessory, just like nails, just like makeup, just like eyelashes. It's just an accessory, and you will make your life a whole lot fucking easier. Okay, y'all, let's get over it. Okay, it's really not that serious. It's just hair. Until next time, rock stars. Bye.